All right, what is up, guys? So I'm going to make a quick video. I want to keep it short and sweet. Uh, so I bought something the other day that is going to replace this. So this is my design. So this is a rear view camera. It doubles up as a backup camera. This is also a screen. You hardwire it into the fuse box, or you could just plug it right into a cigarette lighter. Also, as a reverse camera. So that's really good for, for what my purpose was, right? Because this car doesn't have it. So what I'm doing was... I made this little bracket that basically holds this. There's two rubber bands that goes around this. And I thought it just looked really cheesy. Because the way, sorry, the way you're supposed to do it is put this right over your rear view. And then put the two rubber bands on it. And then it just sits on that. But it looks clunky. It's like two inches wide when you do it that way. And it just, it looks like clutter. So I wanted to redo it. So what I did was, on Amazon, for a whopping like 10, or 10 bucks, 11 bucks, I bought this. So, as you could tell, yes. It is exactly what you think it is. This, you're supposed to put your phone in, take it, you're supposed to have it sideways like this, and then just squeeze this thing on your phone and bang, now you got a phone. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna modify this and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. So the way this thing works, it has just the perfect adjustments for what I need. So you can go forward and backwards, you can go up and down, and with the actual piece itself, it's on a ball joint, a nice stiff ball joint, which is what I need because it has to be able to hold the weight of it. So forward, back, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I'm gonna modify this to make it hold the rear view. All right, so how I'm gonna start it off, if anyone is interested in this on Amazon, I don't have the price on it, but this is what it is, the Max Boost, right? So let me show you what I'm gonna do. These two tabs that are right down here, I'm gonna start off by just chopping these things off. So, take, you know what, for good measure, because I've learned my lesson far too many times by trying to do something quick and not having eye protection and getting bitten. So, And I know exactly now what it was, and I'm pretty sure that's important. It was a... <sighs> when you dip your hand in fiberglass that fell on the floor, come on. So this little, like, uh, joint piece here. Look at this. Look at this stuff. Look at it. It's everywhere. <gasps> Why do I do this? Ooh! So... <laughs> I need some sandpaper. Got a piece out. Come on, perfect. All right. So these hard edges, after cutting it, I'm now just gonna sa sand that down. You know what? It's funny. Spend all these money on tools. You might as well use it. Yeah. All right, so now that both pieces, both of these little sides right here are sanded down to how we need it. Now we can just adjust this. All right, let me go show you what I mean now and do a little test fit. Give you a nice good view. Yes, my neighbors are having a party right now. So how it's gonna work is this was the old setup this the reason why i'm doing this by the way is this didn't exactly fit to the the area where i wanted it to fit so how it's going to go now is this is just going to be able to slide in like so and now on this right here this is the on button in case it turns off or for your own adjustments i want to be able to have that seen so i'm able to touch that but while still accessing both of these ports. So it's gonna need a little bit of adjusting. But now, that is the whole gist of it now. As you can tell, perfect. So, let's do a mock-up. All right, so, this is our new replacement. This is gonna sit like so. I can also take this thing off 
which I'm pretty sure just has like a silicone on it. I don't know if I want to really go through that right now. That'll probably happen at another point. So we are going to take this like so, peel off the plastic. All right, now that is all in the area that I want it. Now I'm just going to plug back in my wiring like that and like that. Now, that is a proper working rear view. Now I can't even turn it on to show you because I have the battery on them because of everything else I'm doing. I hope you guys liked that quick little tutorial on how to do a custom mirror job like that.